There's plenty of showers, but they are <laughs> working their way through the area here right now. Uh, okay. uh, so radar shows what's happening here. Uh, we have a nice east breeze. Uh, it's pushing the showers and storms to the interior here uh, up against the Gulf Coast. Now, this is the area we want to watch right along that thin green line there that's trying to push against the east breeze. Uh, we might see a few showers work their way back into the area here, but primarily they're staying over the interior here overnight tonight. Maybe a few showers could work their way through the area uh, tonight. Uh, typically we see that with that east breeze. One or two showers there just off the coast might work their way in through the area tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, that's the one area that we have to watch here this evening. Evening. Otherwise, pretty comfortable. Temperatures have dropped into the upper 80s here with a nice breeze out of the southeast. It's about 10, 15 miles an hour. Uh, we're seeing temperatures dropping from the 90s into the upper 80s here. Uh, Key West, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami, uh, thanks to that nice east breeze. Now, here's the similar situation tomorrow. Uh, we could see a few showers work their way through the area in the morning. Uh, we'll go from 2 o'clock to about 5, 6, 7 o'clock. One or two spots could see a shower or two in the morning, uh, but then they work their way through and push to the interior here in the afternoon and evening here. That's by two, three o'clock here. Uh, so uh, nice, comfortable afternoons and evenings here uh, with that nice east breeze continuing about two, three uh, o'clock in the afternoon. Then everything fires up towards the interior and up towards the Gulf Coast by seven, eight o'clock there tomorrow evening. With the east breeze, though, we do have a, an issue to watch, and that is on the uh, uh, the water or right at the beaches there. Breezy at times, 10 to 15 knots. Use caution on the water with two to three foot seas. Gusty at times there with a few showers that work their way through the area. And watch for the red flags. We have a high rip current risk going at least through Monday with two foot seas there. Mainly morning showers working their way through the area. By the afternoon, looks pretty good. Today, not bad. Tomorrow, about 90 degrees. Uh, maybe a few passing showers working their way through the area. 89 degrees will be the temperature there tomorrow afternoon and evening. Now we have Bonnie, which has worked its way across Central America, and we also have to watch for Colin now, uh, developed along the Carolinas. That will continue to move to the northeast as a tropical storm, but nothing is immediate threat to here to uh, South Florida here as it continues to move to the northeast. One other area to watch is moving across the Windward Islands. That has a low development potential there, so tropics looking pretty quiet. Here's the extended forecast here. We have 4th of July forecast, 89 degrees, sunshine, maybe a few passing showers. M then we start to see showers and storms working their way through the area, starting Tuesday, continuing Wednesday with sun and storms, keeping temperatures about 90 degrees there, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in the next weekend uh, with sunshine and storms. Uh, pretty typical South Florida weather here for the rest of the week. Pardon? All right, Dave, thank you.